this is from George Blackston. So worst thing about pH is male system. I know, I know. What can you say about it? Um. Hello guys, it's always be it's beautiful day in Dayte as always. So for today's it, this is another um, episode of Chrissy Chats. So for today's vlog, we will be talking. Remember when I asked you about um, about some negative experience or some negative sides living here in the Philippines? So we went through some comments and we're going to be answering all those comments. Since last time, remember that I already answered it, right? Although it was a Filipina perspective. So, say, so for now, I'm going to let my husband react to it. So we're just going to share our thoughts together. And yeah, my husband will be in my blog again. Where I'm just, I asked him to be in my blog because I want, I want to get his um, um, perspective about it. Since um, my viewers are American, so I want he, his um, perspectives um, so that um, you you guys can relate about it. So see you then. So guys, I am here with my husband who is humble, good looking. Are you good looking? <laughs> That's up to you. Beauty, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, I know, but you're good looking to my oh, eye. Oh, wow, thank you. So anyway, guys, uh, my good looking husband is here. My kind hearted husband is here. So by the way, we're now going to start the topic. And I'm, I will be the one who's going to be, um, what do you call it, reading the, the comments. And then he will react first and then me. So now let's start it. Okay, Timoy, so for the, for the thirst. The, for the first topic we have here from Don Khan, um, I love the Philippines, great people, problem it's very hot. Also foreigners can get into the Philippines unless they receive vaccination. The Philippine people are obviously great people. They're very warm. You always know you're going to have awesome customer service whenever you go to a hotel. Um, very helpful. One of the reasons why English is so... Uh, English is so widely spoken in the Philippines, it makes it a very easy place to come to versus other countries I've lived in where English is not spoken. It's really, really frustrating. So you have a warm people, you have English, and that just makes it wonderful. Um, yes, it's very, very hot. And there are times, like right now, where I would love to just walk out on a freshly snowy day in some park um, in an area where it's much colder. Uh, last comment was also foreign foreigners can't get, they receive the vax. I'm not completely sure on that, that those laws are always, are always changing. Maybe it's gonna be a longer quarantine. I don't really know. So you guys gotta do your research on that because someone might be watching this video six months from now and things might have changed. So for this, um, yeah, I know that Philippines is really hot because I remember with <laughs> When you first got here in the Philippines, you were complaining how hot um, Philippines is because I know Timo, you're from the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it ju was just really hard. Timo was constantly like um, sweating because of it. And for this um, box thing, I don't, I'm not quite sure about this because I'm not really, um, yeah, I'm just not sure about this, guys. I have no idea about this vaccination thing if you really did vaccination if you're you need to get into the Philippines so let's now proceed to the next comment so I really like it in the Philippines the only negative thing is um, Manila is traffic that's inconsequential I mean I've you want to see traffic I think LA is number one I think Moscow might be number two I've lived in both both areas so uh, I remember the first time I came to the Philippines I was 17 years old and um, <laughs> We were in cars, and if the other side of the road was free, you'd be going down one side on the right-hand side. People would be jumping the median and going on the other side. So uh, it's, it's uh, not like that anymore from what I see. Maybe that was just the 90s, but, um, you know, I'm used to heavy, heavy traffic and three, four-hour commutes to get home. Not a big deal. So actually, guys, um, I think because I haven't been in the... Uh, I haven't been in Manila before. I only been to Manila when I was already with Timoy. So, um, the one since... thing actually I want to add on this is if you are like trying to meet up with somebody 
and yeah. you're on one side of Manila, you'll take a look and, you know, a lot of apps, well, dating apps will tell you how far you are away from somebody. And you'll look and you'll think, oh, with your, with your Western brain of like, oh, I'd be here in like 15 minutes. And then you, <laughs> you add the lateness of the Philippines combined with the traffic and it could be two, three hours before that person gets there. Oh my God. So anyway, guys, um, compared before, I think, because every time like I watch um, news, there are just like constantly talking about traffic in IDSA. But now, because um, because um, they're already ac they're actually working on a lots of broad road construction. It's probably one of the reason why it's helping of the traffic in Manila. I think. Yeah, the most important thing that I think any country could make, uh, other than in their people, is in their infrastructure. Spending money that way yeah. is always valuable. So, um, I appreciate what the Philippines has done to try and um, it's it's geographically challenged. And that there, it's a, it's an island chain, which makes it very things very difficult infrastructure-wise. And they put a lot of money into the ferries and the and the and the boats. And I'm proud of the Philippines for doing that. So for our next um, topic is from Mr. Texas. So most negative things I've heard about the Philippines is the same as other countries: um, traffic, transportation issue, pollution, corruption, poverty, crime, jobs, and stagnant pay, rising prices, la lack of healthcare, and etc. Yeah, for me, the biggest thing is the healthcare issue. Yeah. Um, I think people see our videos, they see the ocean, they see the nice life that we obviously have in many ways, but there are major downsides. And I think in life, we tend to, um, we want to make a synthesis, a synthesis of like the best things. It's like, you meet a girl, she's, she's beautiful, right? But maybe she's not as smart as the other girl you used to date. So it's the same thing with countries. We want to take my, our, we want to take our Amazon same day shipping, and expect that in the province. We want to take our high quality healthcare that maybe we have in other places, and I'm I'm and they have it here, but it's it's geographically centered on the, the Manila Makati area and maybe the Cebu area for good healthcare. So you try, but at the same time you're um, also getting into the cities and into the pollution when you when you go to those places. So everything's a trade off in life. And then, the, at any country you go to, there's going to be crime, there's going to be no-go places. There's no-go places in France, there's no-go places in the United States. So, that, that's not any different here in the Philippines. There's, there's, there's uh, places in the United States where it's very peaceful, obviously a lot of places. There's places in, in the Philippines that are very peaceful. You don't really need to really worry about petty theft or, or those kinds of things. You're worried more about jealousy or what people are saying about you, trying to ruin your reputation, not so much getting uh, getting um, into some major crime. So anyway, that's rising prices. I haven't really, other than gas, um, I haven't really seen too much. The cost of chicken has gone up 10% in two years, which I think is relatively mild compared to the inflation the U.S. is having. So I'm just going to react on this corruption thing. <laughs> Actually, guys, if there's really um, politics, then there's always be corruption. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just look at Nancy Pelosi's uh, portfolio, how, how it's grown. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> just the thing that I want to react States. to. I mean, the, the, the closer you get to the, the halls of power, the more likely you are to be corrupted. With the exception, it seems like the Scandi Scandinavian countries have always been the lowest on the corruption index. I don't know why, maybe it's because everyone pays so much in taxes anyway and government has the government services. Okay, let's proceed to, so this comment is from Pelly Roger. So, traffic or toilet, toilet paper thing, especially going to public that there's no toilet paper. This is just what he's trying to talk about, Timoy, like yeah, public to me, this toilet. Is, this is absolutely crazy. Um, it's definitely true. And to there's also no soap. Soap, like yeah, no wash. soap. You got to bring that stuff. So what I do personally, <laughs> I, I've got like the dad fanny pack. I'm over 40 now. I don't need to look cool anymore. Maybe I wasn't cool to begin with, whatever. <laughs> but I wear the fanny pack. In the fanny pack, I carry wet wipes. I carry um, alcohol cleanser. So that bounces around on my belly with me wherever I go in those types of places. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny because I remember Timoy when when Harold was here, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he goes into that bathroom in one of his videos, freaking classic. I remember going in there with him, and at the time I was really new to the Philippines. He was kind of looking at me like I was this salty Philippine guy, but I'd really only been there two two months or three months. So I I was new to the whole experience too. 
and uh, he was shocked at the condition of the gas station bathroom. Yeah, he was just so shocked. What well, if he was like using the right soup? <laughs> what did, oh, he ended up he ended up using the uh, the chlorine tablet. The, yeah. As the soap. So. Yeah, he was just asking about it. I know public toilets here. Um, I don't really like public toilets because it's dirty and also the fact that there's no toilet papers and and it's just been used with a lot of people because of course it's a public toilet and also Timoy the soup I don't want to, I don't really like using public toilet because um the I just don't it's like just it. to hold it's it. dirty just, just pinch it off till you come home you know just yeah be because even before guys I don't really like um, using public toilet I hate public toilet so the comment is from the BRL um, um, the most negative thing about the Philippines is the mosquitoes, which are already talked about in the video. Anyway, there are negatives is mostly because of wisdom way of doing things. Can't blame the Philippines for the way I do things in the West. As always, God bless you and your family, and of course, God bless the Philippines. Uh, well, Dave, thank you for the blessing. That's very kind of you. Really, uh, really, really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Uh, can't get enough of that. I've always felt like most of my life I lived off of my grandmother's prayers. <laughs> um, mosquitoes are vary so much by island to island. Where we're at right now, I almost never encounter them. Uh, we get flies certain times of the year, but with the sea breeze that we get, it really blows the mosquitoes away. Now other low-lying areas, maybe with stagnant water, which we don't have, would have the mosquitoes. So. I've never experienced a mosquito problem. Now you take me back to infantry school at Fort Bend, Georgia, and I thought I was going to die of mosquitoes. But here it's not that bad. So depending on where you live, it matters. Yeah, I know. I don't. I never actually encountered any mosquitoes. Even if there is, it's just like few of them. Yeah, it's not. It hasn't been as bad in yeah. the places that I've been. So. So next is from Ken Seton. High crime rates, myth or true? Murders, vulgarity, dishonesty, offenses. There's going to be crime anywhere. Mm -mm. It's going to, you know, putting crime on the news always sells, right? Fear, fear sells best in the media. I think we've all learned that lesson over the last couple of years. Um, I haven't. There's been some crime around here, but there's crime everywhere. And um, mostly it has to do with somebody wronging somebody else <laughs> that that's that's the crime that i see there is some um extremist people fighting the police like in the mountains of different areas not in our area um and then of course the city you know anywhere you're going to blend in where people don't recognize you but right now you're we're in an area where people you build your reputation who you are how you treat other people in the neighborhood and um you know if you're if you're someone that causes a lot of problems and it's hard to live in that area because people won't want you there so yeah actually the crime rate here is really not that high or there's no really like a lot of crime if we are going to compare it to the crime rate in the um, in manila of course because it's a city yeah soon the the next comment is from chris a so before 2019, volcanoes, floods, etc., drugs, war, drug wars, gangs, poverty, extreme Catholic life. Yeah, volcanoes and floods. The Philippines is probably the most exposed, other than maybe Florida, which might come in second place or first place, the most exposed to tropical storms of anywhere in the world. So uh, I think the second largest typhoon ever to make landfall was not far from us. The volcanoes, you hear about those, lots of uh, those kinds of natural disasters. So um, it does happen. You have to be aware, of where, be aware of it and you should always have a family plan of how you intend to handle those situations. One thing that I will say, I got caught in my first typhoon and it went from being a, a minor depression to a typhoon in like 18 hours and it, and it came right at us, at me, um, when I was out on another island. And so these things can develop quickly. Now I'm someone who monitors the internet quite often. So I feel like I'm up to date like on what's happening. But most yeah. of the populace is not. And um, they do have a warning system that goes out to the phones. 
So people do see that a lot of times they ignore it. They don't have the internet ability to watch the television screen necessarily to watch exactly what's going on. So they get caught probably more than Westerners do. Uh, drug wars, gangs, uh, there's no drug wars down here, no gangs, that's other places, poverty, um, as far as poverty, my take on poverty here is this is one of the best places in the world to be poor, you've yeah. got clean water, you live by the beach, um, it's very family orientated, there's low crime, um, there's less pollution, I've said this to Christy many, many times. You grew up poor, but you grew up very rich in the place that you grew up in. So there's no, nothing worse in my mind than growing up in a city um, where you have the pollution, you have the crime, you have a lot of those other things that she never had to deal with, even though that she had to deal with the poverty aspect of it. I actually agree to Timoy's comment, but for this poverty, poverty is really everywhere. What? Poverty yeah, is poverty everywhere. is everywhere in the Philippines. I mean, yeah, the dis it, it's the disparity between the wealth and wealthy and the and the poverty is is um, very high. So anyway, the the next comment is from David Dodge. Huh? Mosquito bad water quality health standard for street food. Lack of good hospitals and healthcare service can't be too bad though, as I'm still visiting next year. Yeah, if you're on a short-term trip, you're not going to be worried about healthcare. You're going to, yeah. um, with the exception of motorbike, be very careful on motorbike, guys. Um, be very careful when traveling. Uh, be very careful when getting into the wrong van, because some of those people just drive absolutely insane. I know. On, on the roads, it's very dangerous. I would, I would make every effort not to travel at night. At night on the provincial roads i it's something that i absolutely will not do even though we've spent a lot of money upgrading the lights on our vehicle to be high beam lights so that's how i would answer this question as far as bad water water quality it doesn't really matter because everything you're drinking is purified water so and it's really cheap even for the filipinos you know you always grew up drinking purified water right yeah <laughs> okay maybe, yeah Yeah, I agree with you, Timoy. Um, even me, I, I don't really like the, the healthcare services here. The here, I don't like it because. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of what would they call it? Um, brain drain. You know, if you can go be a nurse in the United States and make a hundred thousand dollars a year in your first few years of nursing, why would you stay here and make six to ten dollars an hour your first couple of years? It makes perfect sense. So of course the healthcare system is going to suffer. So I I have a lot of respect for the doctors that are talented and the nurses that stay here because they care about their people and they don't leave. Timoy, I have a question. If for example you're eh, for example for example you're like in danger and that that you need to to be on surgery for like to be in surgery the, in the US the, the surgery you you right away without without worrying about the money or something else yeah I think if you go into an ER system and this is one of the reasons why healthcare is so expensive in the United States is because the people that have insurance the people that pay their bills have to cover up the cost of the hospital for the people that just come into the ER they rack up a two hundred thousand dollar bill saving their life and then they just walk out and never pay the bill so um, uh, the, they will not they will not turn you away as far as I understand in the United States, I think here they'll turn you away. Yeah, it's so crazy here, guys, because it's, even if you're already in critical condition, they're just going to leave you there, um, especially if you have no money. Other doctors would say how much money you can afford. Like, they would ask you like that, like, how crazy are you for if you're a doctor and you would ask like that, right? Instead of saving the person, then you're not really a doctor. You're just trying to make money make money i hate yeah, it i mean Nimoy. i think the i think all the doctors in the united states they take the hippocratic oath which is um you guys can look up what that means online but i'm not not sure if the philippine doctors aspire to that hippocratic oath yeah that's really nice because here the healthcare quality is in absolutely insane so the next one is from cg how do you pronounce it Nimoy? dejil 
Daigo. Daigo. Um, great looking house. Uh, my question would be, do Filipinos really enjoy balut? <laughs> balut? Uh, I personally do not. I tried it for the first time when I was 17 and um, I had a really late stage bird. So what that means is the feathers were there, the bone structure was starting to be there. And uh, I, I said never again. And yeah. I don't know. I don't know what 41 minus 17 is, but that's the amount of years it's been since I've tried Balut. Now, Filipinos seem to really like it. You're not on Team Balut, so there you go. Yeah, guys. Um, like Balut is um, one of the Filipino delicacies, and a lot, um, a lot of Filipinos enjoy Balut. But me personally, I really hate. It's, but a, it's a fertilized egg. Yeah. It's not going to hatch. For no, I think it's a duck. Okay, I don't Yeah, know. it's a duck. Um, I have tried it before when I was still studying um, senior high and personally I didn't like it. Especially it was also not helping when when I was like with my co-worker Timoy we were eating it and while the, the while the lights were, were really bright and I really saw the head of the of the duck and the feeder that's uh, I didn't like it at all. So for this one, this is from Joe Porter. I haven't been to the Philippines yet. Yet, what concerns me is the gover government paperwork, bureaucracy, bureaucracy, bureaucracy. I'm not very patient sometimes. I hope I can get I can get more good Wi-Fi. If you're not very patient sometimes, it's probably not a good idea to come to the Philippines because yeah. all foreigners, even if they understand that patience. <laughs> You have to have patience to come here. Yeah. Um, versus the efficiency of maybe what you're used to dealing with. You have to bring your patience with you. And if you can't do that, then it's not the place for you. So I would say Joe Porter, you might want might want to take a pass or, or change the way you view things. Uh, you can absolutely get good Wi-Fi in the cities. That's not a problem. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure what you're necessarily trying to do bureaucratic wise. But um, if you're trying to set up a business, trying to do something like that, you know, all it, all it takes anywhere in the world sometimes for to set up all that stuff is a good lawyer. So partner with a good lawyer. I have one. So anyway, um, yeah, actually, um, it really contains a lot of patience if you want to visit here in the Philippines because um, everything is just really slow. No, not everything, but there are things that that will take for quite a quite some time and for the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi um, there's really like a good Wi-Fi in Manila Timoy right yeah so you don't need to worry yeah it depends to where you stay especially the oh my god that place yeah it depends to where you're staying so for this is for Peter Ma Pollution, traffic versus pedestrian. Everything takes time. Everything is slow in the Philippines. The Philippine time one hour late is one hour one hour on time meeting at one p.m. and they don't show up till two p.m. Yeah, Filipino time. Yeah, I remember when. I think the best example for us, we had to take a before you get married in the in the Philippines, you have to take a marriage class. Yeah. And I was so stressed out because it started at nine a.m. And we were not able to find the place. I thought we were late. They were going to start. And this is, I was relatively new to the Philippines. I was freaking out that we're going to miss this. And we're going to miss our marriage date because the class was only offered like once every three weeks. So we got there at like 10 a.m. And the class didn't start till like 11 a.m. So. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The, the Filipino time here in the Philippines is just really pretty normal. Yeah, and I really understand. <laughs> if you're not familiar with it, then you you just need to be really... Um, it's just that the Filipino time is just really common here in the Philippines. That, that is just what Filipinos are. So this one is from Libby. Um, I have visited the Philippines. Some of the, some of the negative things I found is that the vendors will increase the price of products once they see a foreigner. Yeah, I know that. Another is that in some places, the beggars won't give you any peace. And if you refuse to give, they insult you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because what, are you, what are you, a reporter? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, increased products. Everybody knows that. Some yeah. some some restaurants have two menus, two different prices. I think that's really popular in Thailand. Um, just expect that you're going to pay more. To me, a lot of times it's it's poor people anyway that. I'm not trying to get the rock bottom most price, so I don't live my life that way where I always try and grind someone down to their lowest amount when I know that they probably need work and they don't work every day. So that's the way I think of things. Um, especially now, people are really hurting for, for uh, food um, when it comes to haircuts, that kind of services. Um, I typically don't do not give to beggars. Uh, once you give to one beggar, they all come and surround you. It's an even worse problem. Yeah. And it's 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 not what you think it is. It you're not giving the money to that person. On most cases, you're giving uh, money to an organization, and there's someone else they have to give their money to when they get it. So they'll look like the kids coming up to your car. You give it to the kids. The kids are going to give it to an adult. An adult's going to profit off of that begging. So, you know, if you're if you have some extra food in your car, maybe you have some. You went and got some uh, fried chicken or something. You have a couple extra fried chickens. Just pass that over the window. Let them eat the fried chicken. You know, that's they can consume it right there. That kind of thing is a better is a better answer in my opinion. So for me, I I actually remember Timoy. Remember when we were? I think it was in Hilongos. It was you, Harold, and me, and then we were trying to get a truck so we can go home and they increase the 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 price. They increased the price of the truck right away when they saw me that I was with the foreigners. Yeah, and and it is really pretty common here in the Philippines that they would, because they would if they see an American American. If they see foreigners, they would think that the foreigners are like rich when in fact foreigners are just like us Filipinos. They, it could be that they have money and it could be that they don't have money. So Filipinos, a lot of Filipinos really, they would think that um, foreigners, um, they, they just, it's just that it's, I know it's really unfair because they would like write, raise the, what do you call it, the fries, for, the, the fry, the, ah. Uh. The price. Well, hey, yeah, the price. The, the one thing I want to cut in and say is that Chrissy's negotiation game has gotten so much stronger than a couple years ago. Her ability to neg negotiate with other people and our covert way of sneaking into an area separately um, has has definitely helped us cut down on, on exorbitant prices. Yeah, thank you. This one is from Filipino American couple in the Philippines. Hi, Chrissy. I am an American and I now live in New Newton, Mactan, Lapu-Lapu. I love being the Philippines, but for the negative side, notice trash in the streets streets and in the nature, burning of the trash, the lack of good drainage when it rains. Um, thank you for your videos. You and your cousins are doing great job. Thank you. Yeah, awesome comments. I think in that area, I've been, I've been in that area of Lapu-Lapu. It's very flat, so... I would say that drainage issues are going to be an issue unless you have all the right pump stations and stuff for your water. But I'm not, I'm not really thinking that the Philippines has necessarily great master planning when it comes to city development. So, yeah, I could definitely see that as an issue. We talked about the trash as well. So, actually... Um the side of the the road right Timoy around our area is re like really clean because um the us I mean it's yeah I mean I'm, surpri I'm surprised how well they keep the roads here sometimes I think they keep them too well where as soon as there's a crack in it they replace it but one thing that they do <laughs> one thing they do really well is uh they clean the sides of the road so it looks really beautiful coming down here they do an excellent job with the the grass which i mean of the grass yeah and for this like good um lock drainage when it comes to rain like yeah it, it's really true but for now i've seen i've seen that they're actually like fixing the drainage in our area that is really good so this one is from Jason Seeker. Negative experience in the Philippines, I'm sure Tim can relate with bathrooms, breeding grounds for bacteria. Nobody uses soup to wash their hands. 
they just used to wash their annals. So all the food is sweet, thick ice cream with made with lard. Everything thinks you're off at the aim. Um, walking at the aim, drunk tricycle driver. Food is nighttime. Is nightmare to find vegetarian. She did stuff going on everywhere. I live near Manila, three hours away, different than what than where you guys are. Yeah, the wet bathroom is really weird for me. Yeah. Um, I'm used to having a shower where you only get wet in the shower, and you don't spray water all over the toilet. But whatever. Um, the soap thing is an issue. All the food is sweet. One major thing that I would use as an example for this is pasta sauce when it comes to American pasta sauce versus Filipino. It seems like they dumped a can of sugar and put it in the Filipino pasta sauce. Um, fake ice cream. I, I don't know that you've really even had real ice cream before. Uh, everyone thinks you're walking ATM. That's like what half of our channel's about. Drunk driver, drunk tri tricycle drivers. I don't see that here, but I also never take tricycles. Um, <clears throat> food is a nightmare to find for vegetarians. Yes, absolutely. If you're a vegetarian, uh, you better be staying at four or five star hotels and only those areas and not travel really anywhere else because yeah. um, that is going to be a major issue. I think that Filipinos do not understand vegetarians. It's not even a, it's, I'm trying to think of an analogy and I can't, but it's, it's not even something that they understand culturally from my perspective. So, so for these sweet bathrooms, I can remember when we first got, um, when we first, um, together with Timoy, like he gets mad at me every time I get the bathroom wet. But as the time passed by, I, um, I started to, and actually now I don't like it when the bathrooms get wet. I sometimes I get mad at him because he gets the bathroom wet. <laughs> and also for this, um, yeah, this is really Timoy doesn't like it because um the the soap that we use for hand wash is just like the same as we use for for washing our our washing our dishes. And he I can't does not tell you like how it. many times I've said, okay, every place there's a sink, there needs to be a soap there, and there needs to be a way to dry off your hands. Water, soap, dry. That's the way I was raised. I don't understand it. Anyway, <laughs> you're much more of like an alcohol on the hand user than I am. And I'm more of the first part of what I was saying. So actually what we use here for drying our hands is <laughs> what we're wearing. <laughs> Swipe it on the butt, you know? So for this, it, this is from George Blackston. So worst thing about pH, it's mail system, I know, I know. What can you say about it? Um, I'll give this piece of advice. Many, many people, they, um, they go to send, first of all, use shipping cart, which is LBC shipping. Yes. If you're anywhere outside of Luzon, Manila, to send things to um, the Philippines. And maybe I can put my promo code on there. But um, it is absolutely the best way to get in. If you go to, and my dad made this mistake, he sent something to me, and I told him to send it a different way. And he goes, oh, I saved $40 on sending it uh, USPS to the Philippines, which means when you use USPS, it comes to the Philippines here, Phil, Philippine Post. You're not gonna see that thing for another three or four months. I'm just, I just got a letter yesterday, no joke. This is no joke. I got a letter yesterday. It was dated, dated June 28th, 2021, and it was from uh, it, it was from the uh, Manila VA clinic. That's how long it took five months plus to get here. Yeah, guys. Um, I I really believe. Uh, I mean, the the mail system here is is really a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Too not useful post. It's so it's it's so crazy because even now it has been for I think it's over it's already over ten months and we still haven't received our the the Google AdSense mail. Uh, oh ridiculous. my god guys. Yeah. It's so crazy. We actually had to pause this we actually had to pa pause Christie's channel for about three months. I said, Hey, just build up some videos because you're you're not getting paid right now. And um, we kept requesting a pin code, pin code, but it had to come from Singapore, Phil Post, and we never got it. We found a way around it, and so anyway. It's just really crazy how 
it takes so long to receive your mail. So this is from Jillian Borton. Um, one negative thing I heard is several people mention how trashy some places are due to lack of proper waste disposal, not being allowed to burn garbages, and how it takes away from the areas where that is common. <laughs> I know you, you hit burning garbages. You comment I, on this. I, I, this is really a hard one for me. Um, I, I don't understand why our area in the Philippines does not have trash collection. It doesn't exist from what I see. There are so little public trash cans anywhere. It's like, what do you do? What do people, do? what are they supposed to do with their trash? So people just throw it on the ground and I guess they have local people that come and sweep it up, and, but it, it makes no sense to me. Philippines, please, public trash cans. S Samar, um, where I like to go, Calico and Allen, there's there's three trash cans on the on the beach that, that the public uses to throw in those three trash cans. They're emptied like every day. I'm like, this is freaking awesome. I, I I come out, I drink a you know an energy drink or a coke or a bottle of water or something, throw it in the trash can, and uh, we don't have to litter the beach. It's perfect, but it's just so weird how there's public trash cans. It's not a thing here. So by the way, we, we actually have like a, um, like, like someone, a garbage collector. I think it's just only once a month, I, one week, once a week, I think. Um, yeah, we, we, we have it I've only once a I've seen the plastics a bottle Le collection. They've got month. that so you don't have to burn the plastic bottles. Yeah. But it's a disaster, from my opinion. Yeah. So let's proceed. Um, this is from I Down, Down Under. Um, I have in the Philippines, but I have spent time in other countries in the region. My concern is the Philippines and my personal safety. I need to feel comfortable. I need to feel comfortable in a place to enjoy it. I intend to come when everything opens up to a test run and see how it goes. Hopefully, it goes okay. But I'm looking for a place to stay for a long term. You know, a lot of this is do your own research on where you're going, um, and then you can multiply that against uh, what your experience level is traveling and you can multiply it against your personal tolerance for fear. So um, I've been to every major part of the world. Um, I, I know how to travel. My tolerance for crazy places is maybe a little bit higher than most, but for many people, they could be traveling in a completely safe area, um, which the Philippines largely is. There's some areas in Mindanao that have had travel advisories that you need to pay attention to. But other than that, the Philippines is really a very safe place. And one of the best things you can do is, um, you know, go around with some of the hotel staff that will introduce you or take you around in a, in a tricycle and find you a reputable um, van driver to take you different places so that you feel safe, you're with a local. Um, but I think the Philippines is an extremely, extremely safe place to be. And um, like, like I said before in my previous comment, um, any country in the world, with the exception of maybe Singapore, <laughs> there's, there's go and no-go zones. My comment's just like the same as yours. Well, good, let's move on. So, so the next one is from Carrie Smith. I heard if you marry a Filipina, you have to take care of your whole family and always give them an allowance. So, I have a theory on this. It goes, I've lived in different areas across the world, heading from west to east, going from Hawaii to Los Angeles to Chicago to Moscow to Manila, where are we? In the Philippines. So as you move west to east, everyone becomes more of a group thinker. As you go from east to west, everyone becomes more of an individual. So people that live their lives in the west don't understand culture from the east. The east doesn't understand culture from the west unless you've had exposure to it in quite a long time. So like the Japanese, my dad used to work um, for a Japanese company. He would fly in from the United States and he couldn't believe how these people would sit around at board meetings and there wasn't just one CEO dude that, that said, hey, this is what we're gonna do. It was like a group conversation. Everything was done in a, as a more of a community group wise. And it's the same thinking here with, with um, 
uh, family. So you're you're marrying into a, the culture. So you have to understand that. So yes, there is more of a group mentality. Do you have to give an allowance? No. Um, one of the things that I have tried to do for her parents is set them up with success with their own businesses. So they're able to expand what they're already, they're already doing to help themselves. So um, that, that has been my, um, my way of doing it. Also, you know, you guys, thank you very much uh, for watching these videos. You watch advertisements, those advertisements turn to cash, that, that those cash turns into things like building her parents a, uh, a home. Uh, we did very well on those videos, they're very popular, and that's where we were able to help. So, um, that is my overall global thought on marrying into a Filipino family, but, you know, it, mat it matters a lot about what people think of you inside the family. Um, there, there might be a brother, there might be a sister that vet vetoes you, and it causes the person that, you, you know, is dating you to end the relationship also. So for this, actually, we're not giving any money to my parents. That is true. Although we're helping him, especially if sometimes, like, my mom is asking help, and that is the only time that we help them. And um, just like what Timoy had said earlier, had mentioned earlier, that like we sit up, um, we we don't like giving them like money so that they can live comfortably. Something. I mean, what I'm trying to say is like we would like to give them a, a business in a way that they, they would expand their, themselves. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. I'm right. Right. Yeah, something like that, guys. And also, it really depends your person if you want to give uh, money to your family or not. So, yeah. And by the way, this is, this is the same for people that live outside the United States. They come in to to uh, for Christmas in the Philippines to visit their relatives. From what I've heard, there's an immense, um, it, 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 it almost drives away sometimes some families come visiting their family here in the Philippines because they know they're expected to bring a bunch of gifts, yeah. a bunch of help and stuff when they arrive here from the West, so. Yeah, that is really common here. So anyway guys, that's it. Um, Timoy, again, thank you for being in my vlog. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh by the way, Timoy, someone commented that I, I am not a gold digger. Oh, you're but not? I am a content digger. You're a content digger? <laughs> yeah, because you're always in my blog. I always tell you in my blog. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty broken right now, so I've got to I've gotta do seated vlogs. Yeah. I can't run around and do a lot of stuff, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, answering of your questions. Yeah, so Timoy, thank you again for being my blog. So guys, that that it was um, that was all your questions. We already answered it. So thank you for an uh, I mean thank you for watching this blog till the very end. And always remember that you are responsible to your every action that you make in your life. Um, always play and take care, and don't forget to. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you Always tomorrow. pray and take care. Yeah. And God bless you all. See you to my next vlog.